the XP80 contains some very powerful filtering. And to access the filters, we go to TVF. OK, we see a display here. Now, this is, once again, a graphical representation of the filter envelope. But first, let's pick a filter, sound. We've got various types, low pass filter, band pass, high pass. And these are just different ways of emphasizing or de-emphasizing the frequency spectrum of a sound. Here's my basic sound. If I select a low pass filter, what I can do here is change the cutoff frequency of the filter, below which sounds will be allowed through, above which they will be attenuated. So let's reduce the cutoff frequency. Here, as I do that, the high frequencies disappear. I can increase the resonance of the filter, which is the intensity, and it will emphasize those frequencies just around the cutoff point. So let's boost. And you can see the graph shows me exactly what the filter curve looks like. And now we should have a much more intense sound, especially when I change the cutoff frequency. And that's exactly what we get. Now, some of these other filter types are interesting. There's a band pass filter, which not only cuts frequencies above the cutoff point, but below it as well. But it has a band area where those frequencies are allowed through. This is particularly useful for wah-wah sounds and so on. High pass filter, which is exactly the opposite of low pass. And a new type called uh, peaking filter, which has no effect on the sound at all, but it emphasizes a small defined region of the sound. OK, let's put that back to low pass for the time being. Over here, we have resonance velocity sensitivity and cutoff key follow. Well, resonance velocity sensitivity just means that the harder you play, the more resonance you'll get from the filter. This is useful when trying to reproduce the sounds of acoustic instruments, where often, as notes are played harder, you get a more intense or emphasized uh, high frequency range. And then the cutoff key follow means that the higher up the keyboard we go, the more filter we can introduce, the lower down, the less filter we can introduce, and so on. So that's the time-variant filter.